Welcome to another medicine of the week focusing on etoposide, a hemotherapeutic agent originating from the podophyllotoxin produced by Podophyllum peltatum. Etoposide belongs to the class of medication called topoisomerase inhibitors. Its mechanism of action involves binding to the enzyme DNA topoisomerase 2 and inhibiting its function. By doing so, etoposide prevents the unbinding of DNA strands during replication. Therefore, it's a cell cycle specific agent with activity in the late S and the G2 phases. Etoposide is indicated for the treatment of various cancers, including small cell lung cancer, testicular cancer, and certain types of leukemias. It's often used in combination with other chemotherapeutic agents to enhance its effectiveness uh, in killing cancer cells. Etoposide can be administered orally with the bioavailability about 50%. More often is etoposide administered intravenously. Etoposide is rapidly distributed to almost all body fluids and tissues. However, about 90% of etoposide is protein bound, mainly to albumin. Therefore, patients with lower albumin levels have higher fraction of free drug and potentially higher incidence of toxicity. Etoposide is mainly metabolized by the liver to the less active compounds. It is excreted in urine, but small portion of metabolites are excreted in stool via hepatobiliary excretion. Etoposide, like many chemotherapeutics, can cause a range of side effects. These may include myelosuppression, leading to, to decreased white blood cell count and increased susceptibility to infections. Etoposide can cause hypotension, this side effect is related to the rate of administration. In case of drop in blood pressure, infusion should be stopped and intravenous fluids should be administered. After stabilization of patient, the rate of infusion should be reduced. Some patients may experience skin toxicity manifesting as alopecia, radiation recall skin changes or local inflammatory reaction at injection site. Mucositis and diarrhea can be also seen in patients with etoposide therapy. Interestingly, etoposide increases the risk of secondary malignancies, especially acute leukemias. Etoposide may interact with other medications, potentially altering its efficacy or increasing the risk of adverse effects. Drugs that inhibit or induce hepatic enzymes may affect the metabolism of etoposide, leading to changes in its blood levels and therapeutic effects. Etoposide may alter the anticoagulant effect of warfarin by prolonging the coagulation parameters. Therefore, coagulation parameters need to be monitored and warfarin dose may require adjustment. To summarize, Etoposide is a potent chemotherapy medication used in the treatment of various cancers. Its mechanism of action involves inhibiting DNA topoisomerase 2. Common side effects include myelosuppression, hypotension, and risk of secondary malignancies. In patients treated with warfarin, coagulation parameters should be monitored. Thank you for watching.